When it comes to sports or becoming an athlete, range of motion and flexibility are often overlooked. A lot of people focus first on speed and power or strength and conditioning, but how are you gonna be able to get stronger through squats or any other lifting, let's say, if you don't have range of motion or full access to your range of motion? So today I'd like to, I'd like to present you three moves that are gonna improve your hip and ankle range of motion. The first move we are gonna go through is the stance that I like to call Spider-Man stance. I know it might have a different name, but I personally like this one. You just bend your knees, put your elbows under your knees, lower your butt and keep your chest up and make sure your feet are flat and you have to, can stand here, stand about 30 seconds. After that, you are gonna transition to a heel lunge. So you can step out a little, heel lunge, try to keep your arms up, butt down, chest up again and switch, spend about five seconds, switch, three to five seconds, switch, and we switch, of course, don't use your arms, grab your body when you do this, really focus on having your foot flat, keep all the way flexed down, right, so you just sink into your hips right there. Now, the next move would be standing on your knees right here, make sure your Knees are bending at 90 degrees. Stand on, standing on your knees and you're gonna have to put pressure. You can shuffle from side to side so your legs spread a little more. On this one, you can literally watch TV. You can literally spend five minutes, three minutes here as long as you feel good and you feel that you're improving. From here, we're gonna transition to the last move. So you're gonna straighten one leg out and you're gonna take a seat. Make sure you are not taking a seat on the back leg, of course. Front one is straight, back one is stuck behind. This one is stretching your front legs, uh, hamstring. Hip flexibility, it's improving your hip flexibility here, knee, and also the ankle that's stuck in the back, all right? You can sit in the mirror, maybe, right there. And from this one, we can always lean forward. You can lean on the knee that's bending there, and you just keep transitioning from this two. And of course, let me know if you see any improvements after you do this for about a month, I would say.